Eisen, Faustern, Landschaft, die Zügel in der Linken. Palestine was part of the Eastern Roman Empire until it was conquered by the Arabs in 637. Pope Gregory VII planned to lead a military campaign to conquer Jerusalem in 1074 in order to regain the Christian West's places of activity. Islamic expansion had been taking place since the 7th century, the military subjugation and settlement of Christian territories by Arab Muslim conquerors in the Middle East, North Africa, Italy, conquest of Sardinia, invasion of Rome and destruction of St. Peter's Basilica by the Aglabids in 846, and, until reconquest as part of the Reconquista, the invasion of Spain and Portugal. Jerusalem had been under Muslim rule since 638. From the Christian side, the conquest of the Holy Land and the repulsion of the Saracens was seen as a reconquest and an act of defense of Christianity which was reinforced and led by official support and the support of the church. In addition, the land was slowly becoming unable to feed all the people and so the Pope said the land is slowly becoming unable to feed all the people and that is why they are constantly fighting with each other. So go out to distant lands and kill the heathens there. The mob cheered. And so it happened. With the words God wills it, the crowd responded when Pope Urban II, 1955, called for the liberation of Jerusalem in a sermon at the Synod of Claremont. This was the foundation of the First Crusade, which contributed to the Christian reconquest of the holy sites and was intended to help the individual participants to atone for their sins. The First Crusade was a Christian military campaign to conquer Palestine, which Pope Urban II called for in 1095. The original goal was to support the Byzantine Empire against the Seljuks. The crusade began in 1096 as an armed pilgrimage by laymen and as a campaign by several armies of knights from France, Germany, and Italy. Die Eisenfaust am Lanzenschaft, die Zügel in der Linken. So sprengt des Reiches Ritterschaft und ihre Schwerter blinken. Hell im Morgenwind und grüßt der Grenzenlande, grüßt die, die unsere Brüder sind, trotz Schmach und Not und Schande. Das Kleid und mahnet uns zu streiten Für die verlorene Herrlichkeit Drum Wimpel flieg, wir reiten Wir reiten. Drum sind es nicht, wir reiten. Drum sind es nicht, wir reiten. 
The Crusader army set out in several campaigns and united in Constantinople, where the first of them arrived in November 1096 and the last in April 1097. According to recent estimates, the size of the army was around 7,000 knights and noblemen, as well as 22,000 infantry. Including unarmed soldiers, the total army comprised around 50,000 to 60,000 people. The number of horses and pack animals is estimated at 50,000. The rest of the Crusader army, which had also conquered and claimed cities in Asia Minor, moved south to Syria. In October 1097, it began to lay siege to Antioch. The food supply during the seven-month siege was completely inadequate, and many Crusaders starved or deserted. In Cilicia, tensions escalated among the leaders of the Crusade. Baldwin of Boulogne and his followers left the army and went to Edessa. There, in 1098, Baldwin, breaking his oath of fealty to Alexios, established the county of Edessa, the first Crusader state. The city was not captured until June 1098 through betrayal, and all non-Christian inhabitants were killed. The Crusaders themselves were now besieged, as a combined relief army of the emirs of Mosul, Aleppo, and Damascus with a strength of 200,000 men arrived just five days later. At this point, the Crusaders only had 20,000 people, including non-combatants. To make matters worse, there was no food left in Antioch as a result of the siege. In this desperate situation, they declared a three-week fast. During this time, Bohemond of Taranto spread the rumor about the Holy Lance. A monk named Peter Bartholomew is said to have had a vision in which St. Andrew appeared to him and showed him the true whereabouts of the Holy Lance. At first, this statement was doubted. When a priest also had a similar vision, the doubts were overcome. During excavations, a lance was actually found, which was considered to be the Holy Lance. Motivated by the discovery, the Crusaders faced the Muslim Relief Army in battle. The besiegers, whose ranks had been plagued by internal disputes, were defeated after a short battle and put to flight despite their massive superiority in numbers. Bohemond of Taranto now appointed himself Prince of Antioch, thereby founding another crusader state and also breaking his oath of fealty to the Byzantine Emperor. He ended his participation in the crusade prematurely and began to expand his rule in his principality. In his place, his nephew Tancred continued on towards Jerusalem. Eisenfaust am Lanzen schafft die Zügel in der Linken. So springt des Reiches Ritterschaft und ihre Schwerter blinken. Und ihre Schwerter blinken. Das Balkenkreuz, das Schwarze fliegt voran auf weißem Grund. Der verloren zwar doch unbesiegt, so klingt uns seine Kunde. After the successful defense of the city of Antioch, the food supply did not improve. 
In addition, epidemics occurred among the starving crusaders, to which Adhemer de Montile also succumbed. So the crusaders plundered the surrounding area in search of food. In Mara, our people cooked the adult heathens in cauldrons, pulled the children onto spits, and ate them roasted. At the beginning of June 1099, the crusaders reached Jerusalem, which had been under the rule of the Egyptian Fatimids since 1098. Here they were confronted with a lack of food and, above all, water. The great heat and epidemics demoralized the attackers. In addition, there were regular raids by the defenders, which also drove all Christians out of Jerusalem, who now had to endure the hostile landscape outside the city walls with the besiegers. The defenders had filled in all the wells outside the city and had all the trees felled to make the siege more difficult. Water brought from a distant source was of poor quality. Many crusaders succumbed to the strain or left the camp to return home alone. The city walls could not be overcome without siege engines, so an attack seemed pointless. Nevertheless, the leaders of the crusader army decided to attack the city on June 13, 1099. The attack without resources failed despite tireless attacks and the temporary conquest of the northern fortifications. After some searching, lumber was obtained from distant Samaria. This was used to build siege towers, rams, and catapults, with the help of which the crusaders captured the city after a five-week, costly battle in 1999. Six more crusades followed. So more knights mounted their horses and set off for new lands. Die Eisenhaus am Märzenschaft, die Zimmel in der Linken. 